In this tutorial, we'll go through the process of uh, reclassifying uh, the slope classes with the slope uh, map we generated in order to kind of fit uh, the FAO slope classes where you have uh, 0 to 2 percent being regarded as class 1 with a flat uh, or almost flat nomenclature, 2 to 6 percent being regarded as gently sloping, 6 to 13 as uh, sloping. 13 to 25 as moderately steep, 25 to 55 as uh, steep, and uh, um, 55 to 100% as or beyond as uh, very steep. Of course, uh, the last one simply is uh, above 55. Anything above 55 is basically uh, very steep. If you convert it to degrees, it means that uh, 0 to 1.15 degrees is a uh, flat or almost flat. 1.15 to 3.43 as gently sloping, 3.43 to 7.41 as uh, sloping, 7.41 to 14.04 degrees as uh, moderately steep, 14.04 to 28.81 as steep, and of course uh, 28.81 to 45 degrees and probably above as a uh, very steep. So uh go back to the grass window to do this is still you are trying to reclassify the raster data right now so to reclassify go to raster go down as you're going down keep uh, looking at uh, the tools you see Groundwater landscaping, wildfire, generating generate wire, random cells, uh, generate surfaces, interpolate surfaces. No, I haven't seen what I'm looking for. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Like I said, I haven't really used uh, this particular. Uh, version of grass but i know definitely it should be here overlay okay let's start from the beginning develop raster maps manage colors uh query raster make type conversions buffer mask raster map calculator neighborhood analysis overlays uh solar radians and uh, shadows terrain analysis transform features that's nope uh hydrologic modeling uh groundwater modeling landscape patch analysis wildfire category change and values yes this is what i'm looking for change category values and labels so I'm looking for reclassify. You go, you go back, go to the left, in the context menu, of course, uh, select a reclassify, a reclass. Click on that. Um, that brings out uh, this pop up window, which is called, of course, the R reclass pop up window. You have required optional command and, of course, uh, manual. Manual is simply the manual or guide through the process of uh, maybe running the running the command of course the required is uh, the, these are this is actually these are actually things that you must do in order to run the program optional you might decide to do it or not that of course the uh, command means uh, com is once i run it it will automatically into the command uh, output and then you see as the program uh, continues to generate uh, results and of course eventually it does generate results now required the first one is name of raster map to reclassify i'm no longer reclassifying i'm not reclassifying the dem i'm reclassifying the the slope map so slope percent as well as uh, slope itself but then first and foremost uh, to select that you click on this arrow and you see the raster maps already available you see the slope percent slope uh, them of course uh, there are two dems uh, the two anambra bb dems there but 
you are not interested in this for now and both of them are the same thing so yeah, anyone you select will still give you the same result but um in this case you are uh, let's start with slope slope in degrees now name of output uh raster map uh, meanwhile i expect that uh, both the slope degree and uh, the slope percent there the raster reclassification will still give me about the same map but let's see whether that turns out to be the case so uh, name of output you type in an uh, output name so slope class slope slope let's just call it slope uh, slope class slope underscore class now then the rules what what are the rules for a classification if you have a text file that has these rules then you browse to its location and download it i don't have a text file but i will type in the rules myself based on uh, this uh, excel uh this that i have here so zero to, zero to two or at zero since it's degrees zero to 1.15 will be classified as one so just say select you come within the set or enter values directly say zero true one point one five equals one then enter one point one five true oh boy what's that true three point four three equals two then three point four three true I think seven point four let's see true seven point four one true seven point four one equals three seven point four one true fourteen point zero four is that it well either way equals four let's see whether i'm right about that fourteen point zero four yes fourteen point zero four true uh twenty eight point eight one fourteen point zero four true 28.81 equals 5 let's just say the maximum let's make it a um, the maximum is about 37 based on what I've seen from the map but uh, let's say 28 point eight one true forty five equals six now let's see whether I'm right so far fourteen point zero four to twenty eight point eight one twenty eight point three point eight one forty five gives you so having set these rules these are the rules that i want to use to reclassify so that i'll have about six classes uh, from this map so just look at the map window that's a slope map i want to reclassify what is within the slope map and uh, uh, see what it gives me um meanwhile if you see this white line here this is the this is the river niger it's a low line area and of course uh, that's why it's like this so that's the river niger actually so having set these rules one i select i added uh, my raster map that i want to recla uh, reclassify 
So I added a, na a name for the raster to be generated after the reclassification. And then three, I define the rules for the reclassification. So click run. Let's see whether it runs. Op optional command, I think uh, nothing else to do. Run and it's done. So it has been reclassified. So now that's the reclassified map that you see there. So where is it? Slope class. Say display. So that's slope class. Now let's see, let's view the the slope map itself. Display layer. So you see there's somewhat difference, but of course we'll view both in a in a grass and a QGIS subsequently and get uh, some clarity. So having done that, let's do the same thing for slope percent and see what it looks like. Display. This is slope percent. Now run through the same process, but you don't need to close this window, so it's still here. So now this time around, I'll select slope percent. Slope percent, which is this. Now, slope percent, change the name of the output to slope percent. Slope percent class. And of course, I will have to change the rules too. So, zero to two percent is one. Zero to two percent is one. Two. True. Uh, six, I think. That's two. Let's check again. Two to six. Six to thirteen. 6 to 13, 6 to 13 is 3, 13 through 13 through 25 and then 25 to 55, 13 through 25. And then you have 25 through 55. True. 5, 5. And of course, this is 5, 5. Let's say true 100. Now that you've set these rules for slope percent, run again. Let's see what it looks like. The same thing, like I said earlier on, if you look at both maps, let me now scroll through from one to the other. Um, having done this, you can close. So this is uh, slope class and then slope percent class. So let's view display layer. You see some minor adjustment in coloration but it's still the same configuration so eventually we'll view that in a in a qgis and then see what it looks like so now we are done with the reclassification of uh, the raster data the slope class so i'll stop this tutorial for now and then subsequently restart it again where we're now talk about how you would uh uh generate uh, the geomorphons or the geomorphic units of uh, the study area for an umbrella state, for instance, using uh, your DEM and the Geomorphon algorithm in GrassGIS. Thank you.